So you've all seen the articles about the state of the real estate industry where there's um, property values are skyrocketing, there's no homes available, there's multiple bidders on property. So how is that affecting the construction and building industry? Well, general contractors and subcontractors are finding that it's affecting their industry as well. This is an article from the Wall Street Journal uh, that estimates that nearly 4 million ho homes are short of buyer demand, meaning that there's 4 million more people that want to buy houses than have them available. And the building industry is contending with shortages of labor, materials, and land. Um, in different parts of the country, if you were going to build a new single family home, uh, you may have challenges in all three of those areas. You may not be able to find the land that is permittable. Uh, there's also labor shortages where there's not as many skilled trade uh, employees available. And more importantly, materials, not only is the cost higher, but in some places the shelves are empty. There's been reports even at Home Depot where there's no sheetrock on the, on the shelves. According to the article, U.S. housing market is 3.8 million single family homes short of what is needed to meet the country's demand. This estimate represents a 52% rise in the home shortage compared to 2018. The housing deficit is severe, according to the article, and especially for entry-level homes, which make it more expensive for first-time home buyers. Part of the problem is the underlying base cost of a house that have nothing to do with how big it is, in many cases, is elevated. The base cost of permits and approvals, environmental, uh, and even the overhead of a builder just to provide on-site just to show up for the job with a handful of employees with equipment is higher because of insurance costs, taxes, uh, regulatory uh, requirements. And that puts a base, there's some parts of the country that just to, to buy a property, get permitted and dig one shovel full of dirt, you're already 80 grand in, not counting the price of the property. Some parts of California, it's 80 grand worth of permit fees and it may be years just to get to that point. Uh, the uh, Freddie Mac, Economists said we should have almost 4 million more housing units if we kept up with demand. This is what you get when you underbuild for 10 years. This is an important quote. Uh, the the um, organization Freddie Mac is saying that we've been underbuilding for 10 years, which you know, the last 10 years has been pretty good for builders. And if we have to catch up uh, 4 million plus the next 10 years, that's going to be a bigger deal. Um, one of the side effects of it is it poses an obstacle for growth, meaning that housing prices are going up, first time buyers can't enter the market and build wealth, and by definition, it also affects their job prospects. Um, the side effect of the pandemic has also created a materials a building supply issue. A lot of the lumber yards shut down when the pandemic hit. It took them many, many months to see that there was still going to be a demand. In some parts of the country, the employees that worked at these lumber mills left the area because there was no other jobs. So you can't just flip a switch and start your lumber yard back up because the employees aren't there. Even when they are, there are shortages of some of the materials you need to run the operation, even glue for plywood is in short supply. Um, this is having a ripple effect and a domino effect in the building industry where building that single family home that you might have had a build quote for lumber for $30,000, now it's 60,000 for the same build quote, so it, it's adding $30,000. On a $2 million house, 30,000 is a drop in a bucket. But on a median home price of 313,000, it adds 10% to the price. Right, So in some cases, the house may not even appraise for that much so the person can't get a mortgage. This is an important piece of data to look at from the building industry. Being that far short on homes is going to take years to work itself through the system to get lumber prices back down, to get contractors to be able to hire employees, and to get all the permits uh, and development done to get back to an even playing field with the number of homes in the market.